So uh, this is Mr. Vestek again with MrVestek.com and we're here with Paddy Yasutake yes. um, and Gates McFadden um, of Next Generation fame. Um, so just have a couple of questions for you guys if that's okay. Um, as you mentioned um, in one of your talks yesterday um, that this is kind of one of the first time that you guys have actually seen each other probably since production. Right? I think it's the, it, well, yeah, we saw each other in, in passing in the halls of Vegas with thousands of people walking around but this mm. is the first time we've actually you know been in a place where we can talk to each other and i, lo I loved doing the panel with you this is mm. great so this awesome. is our reunion yeah oh. this is our <laughs> reunion after all, all yeah. this time yeah. Yeah. and how appropriate that it's for the teenage cancer trust absolutely yeah. that sick they will get re yeah. reunited yeah right exactly for, yeah, and it's yeah. for this okay. cause <laughs> it's great do you have anything that can use to grow my hair back with <laughs> <laughs> You're probably, you probably want to keep it that way. I have one of my wigs you could probably use. Excellent. Oh, there you go. Yes, I may borrow that yeah, later. Okay. Um, yeah, so how did you guys react then when, when you were kind of initially contacted to, to say, like, you know, you're going to be appearing on stage? Yeah, that was the first. Happened. Well, she I, was already sad. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, I didn't know until I got here, I think. Oh, really? They didn't yeah. tell you? No, I don't think I knew. Oh. At all. I found out when I was here and I went, oh, great. You know? <laughs> oh, no, funny. I had no idea. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't sent, like, the poster or the whatever. Yeah. Well, I got, I got the invite, it was and surprise. then I thought, oh, and sometimes I'll check out the site to see, you know, who else will be there if, if it's somebody that I happen to know with. And I went, oh, it's Gates! And then, I, <laughs> and then I, call, I called my reps up back up, and I said, do they know that this is the first time that Sick Bay is being reunited mm -hmm. after all these years? Mm -hmm. um, and I said, I, I don't know if it's by design or not, but it would be. And the fact that it's for Teenage Cancer Trust, I said, wow. How serendipitous it is! So yeah. it all fell into place. But and, and and maybe next time they'll invite a lot of our patients who died, who played their, our corpses back, <laughs> and we can also hear how how we could do our medical things yeah, better. It, it seems no, we saved everybody. We saved everybody. Just, saved everybody. Just, just take out the dermal regenerator. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> That's right. Um, another question. Yeah, no, I was, I was just saying that. Just it just seems to have been the perfect team up. It's it's amazing. It's taken so long to have you together at an event. And um, from Dublin's point of view, like you were there recently, it'd be great to see the two years come over there. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Had, did you enjoy yourself you know, in Dublin? Did you enjoy? Well, <laughs> did you enjoy no, the I Irish experience? Like, I, you know? I, I have Irish there. blood in me, so mm. of course I do. Um, I I had a great time. Yeah, and um, I I've done things like Picardo and I were in Australia together. We did a um, Connor and uh, Picardo and myself. That was fun. I've never done mine one with um, like all the doctors. Uh, that would be fun with, you know, but this is the woman who I spent the most time with, so it was, you know, yeah. in, in sick, it was great. Um, I, the only reunion that I would really love to do, and now I hear that in the Westminster dog show, they're now allowing them, is to have a, a I, I would not mind having a spot reunion. If they could, spot was, spot, spot was one of my favorite spot patients. Was yeah. <laughs> spot was the best. I hung out quite a bit with Spot. I mean, he was in sick, but remember when Dave broke? That was fun. That was fun. Uh, so, no, please go ahead. That's great. Um, so speaking of the the Irish connection, um, probably a slightly controversial question to ask, but considering how like um, progressive and inclusive Star Trek is in general, um, with you know having Colin Meany, for instance, starting out on the bridge and that kind of thing. Um, and then up the long ladder it happened, and like so, was there like what, was there any um, up the long ladder? What does that mean? It's when I was fired. No, no. What's up the long ladder? So it was. Um, oh, that's right. Actually, it was a season two. Yeah, that was season two. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, you don't have to watch. That. <laughs> yeah, no. I think you're thinking of the high ground, is it? Uh, no, no, no. The 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 one where it was basically like the oh, Irish in space, and it was the let's have the diddly diddly. Episode. Oh, yeah, that yeah one, no, so. that was. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Not yeah. the high ground. That, that was... No, that's the one where they made a reference to reunification. Right. It's but, fine. Uh, it was... I'll cut that one. It's all good. <laughs> um, uh, right, but they wouldn't. They banned it in the... UK. They did, yeah. yeah they banned I thought that was okay. really interesting. And yeah. that, that I thought was a really good episode, actually. Absolutely, and yeah. And that was... That sort of... I remember being upset that they banned it. I thought, mm. wow, that's... Not fair, because one of the great things about Star Trek is you get to hear two sides of something, or more sides even, yeah. and then you have to take it in and make up your own mind. You have to think about it. Oh, yeah, it was very progressive. Like, it you was. Mean, put the idea out there. Like, I know. thought so, too, that Hippocratic Oath versus the Prime Directive. And, and it is, that's the thing. Those ideas get in conflict all the time. And you have laws, you have exactly what's going on now in the States. It's mm -hmm. a, a yeah. system mm -hmm. of checks and balances, and one person thinks this is the way. And, yeah. 
Definitely. I guess it kind of um, yeah, I guess it kind of mirrors as well what happened in the original series um, with the the first interracial kiss and that kind of thing. Kind yeah. of mirrors that as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, so one final quick uh, short question. Um, <laughs> disregarding. Uh, yeah, disregarding uh, everything that happened in the All Good Things possible future timeline for um, Crusher. Um, uh, and I know you mentioned yourself in one of your talks as well that they didn't really get a lot of development in the, the movies kind of going forward. How would you have liked to have seen the character um, progress if, they were given, if she was given more development? Well, you know, I, it's a hard thing to, to, to say because it really depends on what the whole storyline of the movie, the whole point of the movie is, it, you know, what is it about? I thought, for example, the Borg Queen and the and the First Contact. I thought the idea was a beautiful idea. It has more to do with relationships of characters. And one of the things that became very clear was that by the time it was the movies, there was no relationship, uh, much of anything between Picard and Crusher. Mm -hmm. And that to me was sad. And yeah. there was not really that sort of feeling. It was that the studio took Picard and Data, and they sort of were put into a different place and it be, it just was a different energy it's not that it wasn't you know the movies made a lot made money and and they were wonderful but for my character it certainly was much less interesting okay. well i think that's all the time we, yeah that's all the time we have um thank you very much for your time thank you um, you're welcome thank you Thanks. Just on behalf of your Irish fans, just a small gift for both of you there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very so much. much. Thank you. Like I said, my name, I claim to be part Irish. <laughs> thank you. Thanks very much. Yeah.